hello guys and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you what my workflow is like when creating a logo on an ipad so first i start off by putting out my ideas on paper do some sketches and then i go over to my digital drawing app procreate and try to make a digital drawing of um the ideal logo that I, the drawing that i like best once i'm done with that i open up affinity designer and then I try to make my golden circles. So I make as many circles as I think I would need. Um, I usually make around six circles. Next, I bring in my drawing from Procreate into Affinity Designer and then I try to scale the drawing to the size of the biggest circle. So the next thing that I do is try and create the shape using the circles. So bear in mind that while creating the shape, you make sure you do not scale the circles um you use because you you have to try and maintain the golden proportion so you're not scaling down the circles you're just using um the circles that you have to create the shapes that you've drawn also do not forget that when making your drawing try and make your shapes or your lines as geometric as possible uh, what I mean is you make sure you're drawing curvy lines and you're not using straight lines. Also, you should note that sometimes your the, the shapes you form may not be exactly the same as your drawing. The drawing is just there to act as a guide while you try to create the shape using the circles. So in this case, I noticed that my drawing was too small, so I actually decided to use a bigger circle to make the board um, that I'm trying to draw look nice. The good thing about Affinity Designer is that it comes with the outline tool. Um, it helps you see the outline of your illustration. That way you can precisely tell or make sure that the lines of each shape touches each other. The current version of Affinity Designer that I'm using doesn't have the shape builder tool and that is one tool that I use a lot when using or working with um, Adobe Illustrator. If you think there is something that I'm missing, uh, please do let me know down in the comment section. Having a shape builder tool would have helped workflow a lot. I really hope that the developers of Affinity Designer bring it to the app very soon. The next thing I do is add some shadows. This helps the logo look nicer, gives it some um, dimension. For some reason, my iPad wasn't screen recording when I was creating the other shadows. Please bear with me. 
So next one, I create a V shape, uh, subtract it off the body of my illustration to help make it look more like a feather. And then I add a background that helps the logo pop. And now I'm trying to choose a color scheme. Um, so yeah, I decided to go with orange and red, reddish orange. And from here, you can see we're almost done. So I'm just renaming my layers and try to keep my work clean. And yeah, I almost forgot um, to add a highlight. So I use the pen to create a shape. then you intersect it and then you apply white gradient and reduce the opacity of one end to about 60% and then turn down the other opacity or the other end to zero. And there you have it, a logo using the golden circles.